My name's Ed Bassmaster, and uh, I am a YouTube video maker. You know, hidden camera prank stuff, you know, a lot of phone pranks, some sketch, and some music, like, parodies, original music parody stuff. I think it really started taking off in, like, the last year. I started getting a lot more subs and exposure and, and notice from, you know, different areas and approached by different people. In November, I got a email from somebody saying they were from CAA agency in uh, California, which for those of you that don't know, CAA is like one of the top agencies in the country. They represent like George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Sean Penn. And uh, in the email, they said one of their clients was trying to get in, in touch with me. And at first I'm thinking, you know, I'm a prankster, so I'm thinking somebody's getting revenge on me. But uh, I looked into it and it was definitely an email from CAA. And uh, the agent called me that evening and told me that Sean Penn was trying to get in touch with me. And I still was in shock. I couldn't, you know, when he told me that I was in shock, I couldn't believe it. And he said, no, Sean Penn is, you know, a, a fan of your stuff and he wants to talk to you. So I said, you know, well, tell him I'm busy. I'll try to get back to him as soon as possible. So now I said, uh, you know, call me. <laughs> so that was like at two in the afternoon and I sat by my phone till like around 8 p.m. when he called. I didn't move, I didn't go pee or anything. I wore a diaper, I sat right by the phone. And uh, he called me and, you know, we just started talking. And he said, you know, Ed, you're like the best actor I've ever seen. Um, you blow away everybody that's on YouTube. Um, I just can't believe you're not famous as me right now. But he didn't say it in those exact words. He basically just said, you know, you're funny and I was wondering if you had representation and, and I'd like to help you if, if not. And I said, sure, man, I'm like trying to get there, you know. And he said, well, I'll call you back in a day or so and we'll see what we can do. So I hang up the phone and I'm like, I'm beside myself. I can't even think. I'm like pacing and I'm like shaking. I feel like I'm having like, I, I don't know. I couldn't even explain to you the way I felt. It was like, I've never had experienced that feeling before, like just got off the phone with Sean Penn. So I'm calling everybody and I didn't sleep at all that night. I did not sleep. I'm not even exaggerating. Like I didn't even get a nap that whole night. I did not sleep. I just couldn't sleep. I was just pacing around and I just couldn't believe it happened. And it was better than hitting the lottery. Like if I could imagine hitting, hitting the lottery, I don't think it would have felt like this. It couldn't even compare. At one point he called me back and he said, listen, you're not coming out here to meet with an agent. And right away I'm thinking, oh, well, you know, it's a bummer, but you know what, I don't care, I'm coming out to meet Sean Penn. And he says, you're coming out to meet your new agent. I said, what? And he's like, yeah, um, I showed them all your stuff. They said, get this guy out here, He's he, we want him. And I just, I couldn't believe it. Uh, the way Sean found out about me was uh, his assistant, her son uh, found me on YouTube randomly and showed her my stuff. And she liked it and she, she showed Sean's son, uh, Hopper, my stuff. Sean's son showed Sean. And, um, and he had told me that he, he said, this guy's gotta be represented, he has to be. And he looked into it by getting his agent. He got a hold of his agent and said, you know, track this guy down, find out you know, where he's at and what's his deal. And that's how he found out about me. So, uh, you know, I flew out there and I was still a little bit skeptical, like, you know, I was pretty sure it was Sean on the phone, but there was no guarantee, and, and I kept thinking in the back of my mind, this is a prank, and, and, and I was not even 100% sure that it was real until I pulled up in the driveway and saw Sean Penn standing in his driveway smoking a cigarette, and I just, I was speechless, and I just got out of the car and I couldn't even talk, I couldn't believe that this was really true, and he, he seemed amused by that because I guess he could tell I was kind of taken back by it. And he just said, come on in, relax, get your bags in, you know. And from there it was just like pie, you know. It was like eating a nice piece of pie with whipped cream on it, you know. I get to Sean's house, you know, get settled in and everything, and he says, we're going over to CAA to meet with your agents. So uh, we go to meet with them. And But before we go to meet them, I'm like, you know, I'm new to this. I've never met an agent. I've never, you know, this is totally uh, overwhelming for me. So I expressed this to Sean and he's like, I'll go with you. I'm like, all right, cool. So we're in the meeting with the agents and Sean's sitting right next to me eating a chocolate chip cookie, just kind of laid back and relaxed. And I'm like shaking like these guys in suits are sitting in front of me, talking to me. And they're just asking, you know, what do I want to do? Uh, wh where do I want to be with my career? And I'm just telling them, you know, I want to do comedy. I want to perform. 
you know, TV show or movies, it doesn't matter, I just want to perform, that's it. And uh, I guess the meeting was like an hour, and uh, that evening I got a phone call from the agent telling me that the next morning I had six meetings lined up with different production companies, and uh, and it was just, it, it was overwhelming. So uh, the next day I was out on the road by myself. Uh, Sean gave me his car to drive in town, which was nuts. And I was just driving in Hollywood, going from meeting to meeting, meeting with these Hollywood producers. The whole entire trip was surreal. And, you know, the first evening that I got out to Sean's house, we went out to dinner uh, with Owen Wilson. And that was just like, I mean, how do you eat when you're sitting next to Sean Penn and Owen Wilson? That evening we went to Hillary Swank's house just to hang out. And that was another deal where I was like, oh man, I was just nervous about it. But uh, as soon as we got to Hillary's house, it was, it was cool because they were just like down to earth. Uh, just her family was there. It was a really low key get together, nothing big. I, you know, I'm expecting this is Hollywood, it, you know, you know. <laughs> But it was just neat, just the whole experience was really neat. And I remember, you know, my grandpa, uh, he had had, um, I don't want to get graphic, never mind. I don't want to get into that. No, actually, you know, I've sat up many nights trying to like, you know, play out how this, how, how I would get, would I ever get discovered? And if so, how would it happen? And I would come up with these wild dreams, you know, and none of the dreams that I came up with even were even close to what really happened. So I would never imagine this in a million years would happen. And I thought maybe, you know, some like small producer from Hollywood that's trying to put together a comedy film would see me and fly me out. But, you know, Sean Penn was just, I'm very grateful for what happened and I'm just excited to see where this goes and uh, just looking forward to it and, you know, Honestly, if, if my life ended right now, I, I'm very happy. Just It's just been exciting, and I can't even really sum it up in words. Um, you'd have to experience it, I think, to really understand. I mean, it's, it's a big deal, you know?